If you want faster render times and Comfy UI and permanent storage for your models, workflows, and custom nodes, let's set up Comfy UI with Sage Attention on a RunPod network volume. First, make sure you have a RunPod account and have loaded at least $10. Check the link in the description to grab a sign up bonus if you haven't yet. Once that's ready, the next step is setting up a network volume. This keeps all your models, workflows, and custom nodes safe so you don't have to download or configure them every time you start a pod. To create one, head over to the storage section and click new network volume. Now pick a region where the GPU you want has high availability. For this guide, we're choosing the Euro 1 region because I mainly go for the RTX 4090, which is reliably available there. Next, give your volume a descriptive name. For this, we'll go with Comfy UI Sage Attention. Then set your volume size in gigabytes. Let's start with 50 gigabytes. You can always expand later if you want to download more models, but you can't shrink it, so starting models modest is best. Volumes cost about 7 cents per gigabyte per month and are region specific. With everything filled in, click create network volume. With your network volume ready, it's time to deploy a pod using our template. Since you're already on your network volume page, simply click deploy pod with volume. You'll be taken to the deploy a pod page where your volume is already selected in the secure cloud section. Expand the additional filters and make sure CUDA 12.8 is selected, which is required for proper installation and GPU acceleration. Next, choose your GPU. For this guide, we'll go with the RTX 4090, ideal for heavy comfy UI workflows. Then select the correct Docker template by clicking Change Template, searching for and picking the next diffusion, Comfy UI Sage Attention template. This ensures Comfy UI, Comfy UI Manager, and Sage Attention are installed properly and ready for reuse on your persistent volume. For final settings, set the GPU count to 1 and the pricing type to on demand. At the time of writing, the RTX 4090 costs around $0.59 per hour, which is very reasonable for high end GPU performance. Once everything is set, scroll down and click deploy on demand and you'll be redirected to the MyPod section where your GPU instance will start spinning up with the next diffusion, Comfy UI Sage Attention Template. With your pod spinning up, it's time to check the initialization logs. A right-hand panel will slide out. Click on Logs to follow along. There are two tabs, System Logs, which shows the progress of pulling the Docker image, and Container Logs, which displays runtime messages from the container. Once the Docker image is fully pulled, switch to Container Logs, where you'll see a message from Next Diffusion indicating that initialization is in progress. During this phase, your network volume is being set up and Comfy UI Manager, Sage attention and all necessary packages are being cloned and installed. This process can take around 15 minutes depending on your pod speed, so please sit back, grab a drink, and wait until you see a message confirming that Comfy UI is running. Once your pod has finished initializing, Comfy UI is already running on port 8188, so you don't need to open VS Code just to start it. To access Comfy UI, head over to the Connect tab in your running pod and click HTTP Service 8188. This will open the Comfy UI web web interface. Once it opens, you'll see the Comfy UI canvas with Comfy UI Manager preloaded and ready to use. To load a workflow, click the Comfy UI icon in the top left corner, then browse templates. From the sidebar, select Flux and choose the Flux Dev FP8 workflow. Note that if you try to open or run the workflow, you may see a message that the required model is missing. So how do we actually download models onto our network volume? First, grab the Hugging Face download link for the model or file you need and make sure you know where it belongs. For example, the Flux Dev FP8 model should live in the Comfy UI slash models slash checkpoints folder. Once you've got the link, open the VS Code server included with the template. This is where you can manage your file structure, download models, and make sure everything is saved to your network volume so it persists across pods. To access it, head over to the Connect tab in your running pod, select HTTP Service 8888, and launch VS Code in your browser. Once VS Code opens, click the terminal icon in the top right corner or press Ctrl plus J to open the integrated terminal. Make sure you're in the workspace root, then navigate to the right folder by typing CD Comfy UI slash model slash checkpoints. You can also right click the folder in VS Code and choose Open an Integrated Terminal to get there instantly. With your terminal pointing to the correct folder, just type WGET and paste the download link you copied earlier and hit 
enter. The model will download straight into that folder and stay saved on your network volume for future sessions. You can repeat this process for any model, VAE, or text encoder. Just make sure you're in the right folder first. When the download finishes, go back to Comfy UI on port 8188, click edit and then refresh node definitions, or just press R on your keyboard. Now your new model will appear in the checkpoint loader dropdown. Select FluxDev FP8 model, add your text prompt and click run. The first generation may take a few seconds as it caches, but after that it'll run much faster. And just like that, you've successfully set up Comfy UI with Sage Attention on RunPod, complete with a persistent network volume that securely stores your models, workflows, and custom nodes. This setup lets you run high-performance AI workflows faster and more efficiently than ever. When you're done working, don't forget to terminate your active pod to stop GPU billing while keeping everything safe on the network volume. Next time you start a session, just select your existing network volume, reapply the CUDA 12.8 filter, pick your GPU, let's try an RTX 5090, and then choose the next diffusion Comfy UI Sage Attention template before hitting deploy on demand. Since Sage Attention is compiled for multiple GPU architectures, it works right away with no extra setup. The pod skips all the heavy installs and launches Comfy UI almost immediately. Once it's ready, open the connect tab, click HTTP Service 8188, and you're back inside Comfy UI with your models, workflows, custom nodes, and outputs already in place. Just select the same Flux Dev template, type in a prompt, adjust settings if needed, and hit run. And just like that, you're generating in seconds with a fully persistent Comfy UI setup powered by Sage Attention. Of course, this is just a very simple workflow to get you started. If you'd like to dive into more custom and advanced workflows, head over to our tutorial section on our website, where we showcase a variety of advanced workflows for free that you can follow along at your own pace. We also provide the JSON workflow files, so you can drag and drop them directly into Comfy UI. The only thing left is making sure you have the right models, but with everything you've learned in this video, you should be able to make it all work smoothly. And if you'd like to support what we're building, consider subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and checking out the subscription section on our website. We've just launched a really exciting feature that lets you create a Flux Dev Laura from a single front-facing character image. It's super easy. Just upload your image, choose your GPU, type in a trigger word you'd like to use in your generations, and click train. Our system will automatically create the dataset for you and train the Flux Dev Laura in about 30 minutes, completely hands-off. Once it's done, you can download it and start using it right away for consistent character accurate results. That's it for this video. With the RunPod Comfy UI Sage Attention template and your network volume, you're ready to create faster and easier. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and check our website for more tutorials. Keep creating and peace out.